In the last 15 years of teaching, I've reached one conclusion. If you understand how to improvise diatonic, you are set. Diatonic means it just comes from one scale. Most of the time, the major scale. Understanding how to manipulate the major scale. Let me repeat that to you. Understanding how to manipulate the major scale. But we don't want to play the major scale, do we? We want to play the hip step, we want to play the diminished scale, we want to play the chromatic scale, whole tone scales, right? Like, the major scale is the first thing you learn. It's almost like we brush back that thing, you know? Hey, I don't want to learn, man. Freaking, hey, I hate that part, man. Like, I'm like, okay, well, wait a second. That's, that's boring, right? Freaking scales. I get enough of that. I want to play jazz. I want to play, like, hardcore jazz. I don't want to play stuff that's got diatonic. It's crazy. You got to be out of your mind. If you understand how to use a major scale, all right, for two things. One, to understand the harmonic possibilities from it. And two, to understand the melodic possibilities from it. I'll give you an example, right? If I'm playing an E flat, okay? Yeah, usually we think of the, okay, well, not too hip, right? But if we extend it, major scale, you've already got this, and if I move everything up through the scale, guess what guys and girls, this is all diatonic, right? I think this is Puccini, right? I mean like the greatest hit maker in, in an opera, right? And all he does is this. There's his first motive. Then he just moves the whole thing up. Right? I mean, that's some. I mean, I can't really even articulate how powerful that is, right? It's like he went, it's the complete opposite sometimes of what we think about as jazz musicians, right? We're sitting there, oh, D major! And that's fine too, but... If you can do that, then you start to kind of throw in a little bit of alteration there, right? on understanding the power of diatonic improvisation. Like, if you can take your instrument, right, and just forget about trying to play the coolest licks, the fastest stuff, just take a scale and practice making melodies. I guarantee you, your playing is gonna improve like a million percent. And I know this because I haven't really run into a whole lot of jazz camps that really encourage that. It's almost like I'm telling you, Go back, go backwards, all right? Simplify. You already are gonna be working on all this other stuff, but make sure you take the time to actually create melodies out of simple harmony.